Hi, Alan Stratton from Maswood Turns. Well, it's been an intermission. It's been a very long intermission. Too long of an intermission. Been away from my lathe now far too long. It's time to get started. Things are still a mess, and uh, but that's life. We've got to go move on. My dust collection is in shambles. My big lathe is uh, doesn't have power to it yet. All the tools are in different parts and of the of the space here but I got to get back to the lathe so I'll use my mini lathe and uh, here's a piece of wood uh, looks like it could be burl or just a bunch of branch stems I don't know where I got it I'm not sure what wood it is but let's use it anyway and see what we can get out of it I'm going to use an apprentice chuck for this bowl it is the right size for this mini lathe the set includes a screw that is held by the chuck jaws. I need to drill a 3 8 inch hole 1 inch deep. I'm approximating the center by measuring twice, marking the middle each time. Then, exactly, moving the bark over to maximize the grain and wood usage. Then use tape to make a flag on my hand drill for a depth indicator. My drill press is buried somewhere. Next, mount it to the screw in my chuck. This wood is slightly too big for this 12 inch lathe. I'll have to knock off some corners with something. Where's my bandsaw? You guessed it, buried somewhere. Now to actually turn the wood. It's nice to have a heavy bowl gouge again in my hands, even if it is on the small lathe. The blank is very irregular at its diameter, at its center, at its everywhere. I'll start slow in low gear and take very small bites. Much more will stall the lathe. I'm tooling down the center until I can cut a tenon in solid wood. Later, I'll reduce the diameter to mostly solid wood before refining the curve of the bowl. I'm using push cuts, pull cuts, shear scrape, whatever, whatever I can to form the bowl. Another issue is my tool rest. It's very short. The bowl exterior is looking so much better than I had expected. This may well turn out to be a keeper. The wood smells like turpentine, so it is probably pine. It is not very soft with all the end grain from the limbs. Now to sand the outside. The pine quickly loads up the sandpaper. Since I don't have my dust collector operating, I'm smearing my beeswax and mineral oil mix to use as a sanding medium. It will lubricate and apply finish at the same time and cut down the dust. Now to reverse the bowl. Sometimes it can be difficult to unscrew, but this one came off fairly easily. Then remount it using the tenon. The bowl is a little off-center from a bark void in the side of the tenon. I decided to proceed anyway and do the best I can. Despite being pine, the rest of the hollowing is a slow go due to limited lathe power and hardness of the limb and grain.
What a pretty bowl. More beeswax mix to hand sand the interior. Where's my power sander? Of course, buried somewhere. Now for the foot. Coal jaws, buried somewhere, to surprise me later. What can I use? How about some packing foam salvaged from the move? I'll fold it several times and use it to pad the chuck. The tailstock will maintain pressure against the chuck. The problem is aligning it to center. The bowl was off center when reversed. It's no different now. After several tries to center, I decided to proceed but blend any change into the rest of the bowl. Finally, sand it out with, again, with beeswax and min mineral oil. Finally, I gently scraped out the soft bark from the bark inclusions. What's left? A little sanding with a small pad on the drill press, once I can get to it, and perhaps a little buffing, once I can find my buffing wheels. This pine bowl surprised me. I did not expect this exceptional grain and figure. I'm glad to get back to my lathe. It will be like Christmas to find all my tools again. With that, the intermission is finally over. We'll see you again next week with another wood turning video. I love feedback via your comments. Please like this video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.